Mark Rogers TV on college football, and we've completed just about all of the major non-conference games for all the BCS conferences. We've got a few left near the end of the season, but we've completed most of non-conference play, and we would like to compare the six BCS conferences against one another using just the non-conference competition because if you really think about it, once they start playing conference play, it's difficult to evaluate the conferences against each other. Alabama plays LSU. Whether Alabama wins at 50 to nothing or LSU wins 50 to nothing or it's a very close game, high scoring or low scoring, the conference takes one loss and one win away from that competition. We can try to speculate and try to observe how well those games are played, but basically every conference, of course, finishes 500 against itself. So either the conference is top heavy or it's balanced one through whatever. Regardless, the strength of the conference is difficult to determine based on playing itself. It's uh, best determined by those non-conference games, and we're going to really get to the best matchups, obviously, in postseason play in the bowl games, and we still have a number of really good non-conference games late in the season, but most of them have been played about 80 to 90 percent. So let's start with the presumed best conference, of course, the SEC. The SEC is 8-6 and six against the other BCS conferences. So against the Big Ten, ACC, Pac-12, Big 12, and the new America Athletic or the old Big East Conference, the SEC is 8-6 and six against those other conferences. Now, this is not a perfect system in evaluating. Obviously, for example, one of those six losses is Tennessee, who's probably the 11th or 12th or 13th best team in the SEC, taking on Oregon, possibly the best team in the Pac-12, one of the best teams in college football, and getting pasted. So it's not necessarily fair matchups where your best team is taking on the best team in another conference, or your fifth best is taking on their fifth best. So that's just a record, 8-6 and six against the other BCS conference teams. This is a very telling stat for SEC supporters and for people that assume that the SEC is the best. And I still believe that the SEC is the best conference, but maybe not by the margin that we typically think it is. The SEC is 0-5 against the top 25 out of conference. Uh, that 1-5 figure means that uh, at the time of the game, uh, meaning that LSU defeated TCU when TCU was ranked in the top 25, that means that the SEC is 1-5 against the top 25 uh, that was currently ranked at the time of kickoff. Uh, against the current top 25, the SEC is 0-5. And, of course, there's some nice matchups coming up later in the season. So let's run it down team by team and give you some perspective on how well the SEC fared against the other conferences. Okay, we start with the top dog, Alabama took on one BCS conference team, and that was Virginia Tech, and the Tide won it handily 35-10, but that would be uh, expected since Alabama is number one in the country, defending national champion, defending uh, SEC champion, taking on about the fourth or fifth best team in the ACC and probably about a top 40 or 45 team in Virginia Tech. Bama won it as expected. We mentioned the LSU win over TCU, a nice win, but again, LSU would be expected to win that game over TCU, one of the three, four, five best teams in the Big 12, and a team that should be ranked in the top 30 or 35 in the country. Ole Miss defeated Texas. That's a nice win on the road for the Rebels. Of course, Texas has underachieved, and Texas is certainly not the team we expected them to be, a top 15 team. Texas has lost a few games now. Uh, Ole Miss, again, wins at Texas, a nice victory, but still over a team that's uh, one of the top 30 or 35 teams in the country. Texas A&M defeated SMU, as expected. Uh, Auburn defeated Washington State, a decent win, but at home, and certainly we would expect Auburn to win over Washington State. Arkansas lost its only BCS non-conference game to Rutgers, a game in which the Hogs led by 17. Certainly, Arkansas is not one of the best teams in the SEC, but taking on one of the better teams in the America Athletic Conference, Arkansas losing that game to Rutgers 28-24. Uh, Mississippi State lost to Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State, uh, possibly one of the best teams in the Big 12. We shall see once they get into conference play, but Oklahoma State still a top 25 team, and Mississippi State lost that one on the road, actually in a neutral site in Texas, 21-3. to 
Of course, the huge matchup in the non-conference season with the SEC and the ACC matched Georgia and Clemson. This certainly not an embarrassing loss by any stretch for the SEC in losing to one of the top three or four teams in the country in Clemson. But still, it was one of the SEC's top three to four teams taking on possibly the ACC's best team or certainly one of its top two or three. And Georgia lost that game head-to-head at Clemson 38-35. Really, the big downer for the SEC in the non-conference season was the game that Florida played at Miami. You've got uh, a team that uh, went 11-1 in regular season play last season in the SEC in Florida, going to Miami, taking on one of the top three teams in the ACC and losing that football game. Florida, in many uh, measurements, outplayed Miami, but made critical mistakes in that game in losing to the Canes on the road. So the big marquee loss for the SEC, and not an embarrassing loss by any stretch, but still a game that the SEC should win, Florida lost to Miami. South Carolina defeated North Carolina, which at the time of kickoff seemed like a significant victory, but North Carolina has not played good football since, just got blasted by East Carolina. So South Carolina's win over North Carolina, not great. Uh, They just defeated Central Florida as well. Uh, Central Florida, certainly a quality football team, one of the top 40 teams in the country. South Carolina won that game barely 28-25. Mizzou defeats Indiana. Indiana was one of the bottom two to three teams in the Big Ten, but Mizzou got the win there. That was their only BCS conference opponent. Tennessee, uh, the Vols just getting by South Alabama last week, but it's only BCS foe was the one that we mentioned in losing to Oregon, getting pasted 59-14. Certainly not a knock against the SEC. It's like 12th or 13th best team Uh, One of its worst teams, certainly, losing on the road at Oregon. Uh, Finally, we've got Kentucky losing to Louisville by a couple touchdowns. No shame in that. Kentucky, again, one of the worst teams in the SEC, losing uh, by just a couple touchdowns to the best team in the America Athletic Conference and one of the best 10 or 12 teams in the country in Louisville. And though this would be a bad loss, Kentucky losing against Western Kentucky, losing to a non Uh, BCS conference team. Vanderbilt has yet to play a BCS uh, non-conference team. They will play Wake Forest later in the season. Three huge games in addition to that Vanderbilt Wake Forest, but much more significant games to be played late in the season with the SEC taking on most notably the ACC with, of course, the traditional rivalry games, Florida, Florida State, uh, Georgia, Georgia Tech, and of course, South Carolina taking on Clemson. So that's how the SEC stacks up. We would give them a C minus. Give the SEC a C minus on this performance. Because again, 1 in 5 against the top 25, 0 in 5 against the current top 25. One or two of those losses could be expected. Mississippi State going on the road, or again, a neutral site in Texas against Oklahoma State. Certainly, the Tennessee game cannot be held against the SEC in losing at Oregon. But Big matchups against the ACC and the SEC went down. Florida to Miami, Georgia against Clemson. Uh, The LSU game against TCU doesn't look as significant as it did at that time. And the other games are certainly games that the SEC is expected to win. Auburn against Washington State. Uh, There was another game in which uh, similar foes, uh, similarly matched foes, an equal match in Arkansas and Rutgers, and the SEC lost that game. So again, 8-6 and six overall against the BCS, 1-5 against the top 25, or 0-5 oh against the current top 25. So, would love to hear what you have to say about the SEC's performance against the rest of the country, right here on Mark Rogers TV.